Hello, Regis Royals. This is Mr. Gretis. Good morning. It's Monday, May 10th, and we are ready to rock. I'm going to get going with prayer. So let's reflect on yesterday's gospel. Yesterday's gospel was a beautiful gospel reading, and it was perfect with Mother's Day. So it was regarding love. So what does Jesus tell us? What is the most important commandment that Jesus gives us? It's to love one another. So let's reflect on that a little bit. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God, as we reflect on the gospel yesterday, we ask that your Holy Spirit moves within us. May your Holy Spirit come into our hearts, our minds, and help us to reflect on your great message. Yesterday's gospel, as the Father said, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Do you ever have a light bulb moment? A moment where things finally click? You may be studying for a test and not understand a concept until a random moment. And you're like, ah, I get it now. I get it. Well, I think the disciples had a light bulb moment when Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. He, said, he says this so that his joy may be in us and our joy would be complete. Our joy will never be complete until we fully accept Jesus' love. Nothing in this world will give us eternal happiness like Jesus' love. And he tells that to his disciples and he tells that to us. I don't know about you, but that would be a light bulb moment for me. I would rather be joyful than sad and gloomy each and every day. And I know if I let the stress of this world take me over, every day would be gloomy. The stress that I had when I was in sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, that doesn't necessarily go away the older I get. The older I've gotten, I still have stress. But I have to choose each and every day to let God take that away. Because his love and his joy is the only thing that's going to make me joyful. I have to choose love. I have to choose joy. No one has a greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Do we know how much God loves us? We know he laid down his life for us. Have we experienced this love before? Well, we just celebrated Mother's Day. So I think if you look at all the things that your mom does for you, or if you have a caregiver that acts as a mother for you, you know how much sacrifice they have to make just to raise you and to put food on the table and to give you a good life. God is calling each of us to choose love. We are called to be joyful and we are called to love one another. You may have classmates that are driving you nuts by now. You might have your brother and sister that are driving you nuts at home right now. Whatever the reason, you can't let that frustration get to you and cause you to not show them love. Because guess what? You don't have to be close friends with every single person that you meet. But you do have to love them. And Jesus gave us the ultimate example of love. And he challenges us to love each and every person to that same regard. So I want you to reflect how much does Jesus love you? How will you show that love today? God, thank you for these words. Thank you for this message. We ask that you um, bless us and you are with us throughout this day as we pray in our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day, Royals, and a great week.